We can't give up on our families. We can't. Especially the nuclear family. Especially the nuclear family. In the previous surah, we learn families break. In this surah we're learning, if families are together, here's what keeps them together. The focus is save yourself from hellfire. Become better people. Understand that this life is a small part of the journey. In this part of the journey, we're together. I would rather we stay together even after this, this leg is over. We're going to be separated for a little while in the grave, then I want to be united again in the akhirah. That's what I'd like to see. That's why I don't want anybody in my family to be in the fire. As angry as you are, and this is the last thing I'll share with you before we move on in this ayah, the, the, as angry as you may be at your family, at your son, at your, at your wife, at your husband, at your daughter, at your brother, whatever. As angry as you are, if they were in a building on fire, would you not want to get them out? As angry as you are, would that anger not disappear in a state of emergency? Completely. It would be like, would be like you never had a fight. I don't care if you've never given your brother a call in 20 years. If you know there's a fire in his apartment building, and it hasn't reached his apartment yet, you will call him, and you will go in there, and you will drag him out. I don't care if you've never talked to him. I don't care if he hates your guts. He says, I don't want to see you, I don't want to talk to you. All of that will disappear because it's a state of emergency. In a state of emergency, all your prejudices disappear. Well, hellfire, according to Allah, is a state of emergency. Save yourself, save your families, families from fire. Why? Here's your motivation. وَقُودُهَا النَّاسُ hijara. The sifa of naran, its fuel is people and stones. Here's a fire that is fueled by stones, but before stones, Allah mentions people. So there are more people than even stones in the fire that are actually kindling it, that are actually keeping it burning. عَلَيْهَا malaika. I don't want to imagine any of my family there. On top of that are angels, غِلَاظٌ shidad, that are intense, that are tough, insensitive, no feeling, غِلَاظ, shidad, intense in delivering punishment. So now you've got, first, fire itself is enough of a motivation. Okay, I want to save my family from fire. Then Allah adds, it's filled with people and stones. Okay, I really don't want my family to be there. Then on top of that, it's got angels on top of it. Oh, what are the qualities of those angels? They're ghilavun shidad. They're intense, they're insensitive. The guardians of that prison don't care. By design. لا يعصون الله ما أمرهم they don't disobey in Allah in whatever He commanded them. What did Allah command them? To torture the, the imprisoned. We're gonna learn that in the next surah. They're being pushed into the prison and the khazana say, Alam yatikum nadir? They don't say, are you doing okay? They say, no warner came to you? What's the matter with you? What's wrong with you? You deserve to be here. And there's, you know, they smack them into prison. This is, Allah, لَا يَعْصُونَ اللَّهَ مَا أَمَرَهُمْ They don't disobey Allah in whatever He commanded them. So in the most vicious acts of torture, they don't stop. 